What's good, everybody? It's Mr. Composition, the MC that writes fiction. Back at it with another reaction. So, Warrior Ball says, thinking that J. Cole may have picked the side in the Kendrick and Drake beef. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure to leave like, subscribe, notification bells on so you don't miss when I drop a new video. OG members, what's good? How y'all doing? What y'all got planned for the weekend or the week, depending on when you're seeing this? Um, you know, I, I've just heard a couple of J. Cole features, and he's on a generational run. Honestly, like, I really don't even think it's about picking a side. I think J. Cole is doing what J. Cole does, which is rap, you know, and doing his thing. It's like sometimes media, all this other stuff, be putting a big microscope the stuff that, in the grand scheme of stuff, really ain't that deep, you know? You got... Drake and the other uh, top five, whatever the flip his name is, making these threats and all this other stuff. And it's just all like J. Cole and Kendrick are really just keeping it hip hop, like real hip hop, just rapid. It. It's just all like, you know, so I I don't even think it has the this really is about J. Cole picking sides. If anything, he picked himself and his old sanity, you know, but I'm pretty sure. If they're saying that he picked this out, I'm pretty sure it's Kendrick. <laughs> Let's see, shall we? <laughs> uh, Rory had an interesting theory about Cole that oh, uh, he shared I, off mic. More interested in my theory? What well, was yours? Uh, let's not get into it. Well, let me hear his theory um, first. Well, yeah, first, I wanted to... <laughs> I'll offer my play to Kyle Greens. I wanted to bring positivity to how great this song is and how much I do like it. I want to get right oh, back... Oh, you started with love and yeah, adoration. Because I love the song. Oh, okay. Then, but now we about to get to the. Because there's been a weird, yeah, a weird theory yeah. that people think we're Cole haters yeah. up here, and I love Cole. Yeah. And I think, and I still stand by this. Probably is the best rap song of 2024. I've okay. not heard anyone rap like yeah, these yeah, two I heard, gentlemen. I heard did. you get to the hate. I, I this isn't I hate. Wouldn't. No, it's not even hate. It's an observation it's the of best, the choices that have been made, song. and I have seen no one else talking about it. Ooh, the line after, has been drawn in the sand after mm. the Cash Go Bang thing. What cool, side whatever. you on? Cole chose a side, and no one's talking about it. Mm. After the beef, even after Drake had said, I don't give a fuck how Cole feels, and went after Kendrick, mm -hmm. we have seen Cole collaborate with two people that one could deem be ops of Drake specifically. Mm -hmm. We know he's been going back and forth with ASAP Rocky. Mm -hmm. We've yeah. never even known Cole and ASAP to ever have like a relationship like that. Yeah, that was mm -hmm. kind of random. We don't but know it was people. They probably talk. Yeah. But I, I don't know if that was like on my bad. I'm, I'm trying to not talk while they're talking. It's just I'll think of ideas and stuff like that. But yes, in regards to because I seen the video and they was kind of talking about this as well, which is uh, which is interesting. Whatever he says, no one's talking about it. And I literally see videos of people breaking this stuff down. But yes, they, they, he's collaborated with people who uh, would be considered Drake's ops, whether it be feature uh, future, whether it be ASAP Rocky, um, and I think they was breaking up a couple of other things when it comes to these tracks, and so yeah, I could definitely see as far as that, or it could really just be for the music. Yes, oh my goodness, has has the beef then you know, took us away from the fact that both of us still created tracks. Yes, it is, you know, there is that level of pettiness that I could definitely see <laughs> Jayco doing that purposely. Uh, but at the same time, like, people got to understand this is Jayco featured on people's tracks. It's not him putting out the tracks currently. Some of these tracks already was written and this was just the time to put it out type of thing. Um, so I, it's one of those things where it could go either way. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. But uh, it is interesting. And Miles just sent it up there like, here comes they because you're, you know, you gave all the compliments. So obviously there's some hate, you know, I, I don't think that that's what, what it is. List with the midst of everything going on that everyone would wanted the Cole and Rocky song. I like the song, don't get me wrong. Sorry, it's just sorry. interesting timing. And Cole, who was trying to play neutral for the most part, I think made a full decision by not only doing a song with Rocky, doing a fucking video with him too, and yeah. then turn around <laughs> a week later and do a song with someone that's part of TDE. 
Mm. Yeah. I think he clearly put his foot in the sand and said, I am on this side. I am not fucking with Drake anymore. I mean, I don't someone that went from being neutral for the most part. And okay. But I mean, it, is it really like sides? You know what I mean? It's more so like, can't you not F with Drake and been cool with Kendrick? Because despite the beef, there was long rumored that Kendrick and Cole are cool, you know, behind the scenes and different things like that. So that's why it's just all like, I don't think this really has to do with picking a side, I guess, by default, if there's a neutral in the thing and then you don't mess with a person, you know, then obviously the only thing left is, you know, that and then it just... It seems that way, but I would just, you know, I would really just look at it like he doesn't mess with Drake anymore. Drake caught the uh, Drake crossed all types of lines, and it was just all like, okay, well, that's not me. Like I was just trying to keep it hip hop, you know, just do this friendly thing, you know, da 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 da, and. He was just all like, all right, you know, like, I honestly think J. Cole and Kendrick are legit cool. You know what I mean? So, but Warrior does make a good point, you know, but like I said, I don't think it is as aggressive, you know, as they're making it seem like, oh, the J. Cole picks the side, but I guess for the, you know, attention of people and things like that, but eh. even left dreamville fest saying i want no parts of this back and forth this is this is weird why specifically are you going to work with two people that could be deemed ops of drake right after that entire thing i don't think i'm crazy well, for, for observing answer. that that's a simple answer you think he did it intentionally i think that he know drake ain't fucking with him all right so at least we're on the same side yeah <laughs> that, that ain't that's that's right. that was the, your theory less of a debate that ain't so no that, theory. that's, that's what, what i'm thinking like no that's what i'm just all like he just doesn't fuck with drake anymore you know and the like rory said he didn't see anyone speak on it go on youtube there's plenty of people speaking on it. how <laughs> odd that was man jake, just with rocky man but then daylight obviously dirt daylight was a trusted source during the Drake and Kendrick B. Bro. When it came to information on that Bro, side, let me explain these something. TDE. Okay, cool. Let me explain something to you. All of these niggas are very aware that the kid from the north ain't fucking with them no more. <laughs> the kid from the north. <laughs> the Don't kid refer from him. The, north. All right, the boy from <laughs> no, the north. No, worse. <laughs> yeah, like what you want me to say? The man from the north. Okay, they, they all every one of these you rappers. You can use his artist Drake. Every one of these rappers <laughs> and MCs and whatever the else you want to identify them as. All of you niggas that got features. That helped your career, that I handed you your first number one, some of you, your only number one. They know good and goddamn well that Drake is not fucking with any of them anymore. They know that. And I don't, I don't want to make Julian uncomfortable. Uh, I promise yeah. we love Dreamville here and we love J. Cole, but I can still be critical, even though I've loved these ASAP Rocky features got the, he got the album he got the video of the year with that taylor swift video oh his, his, videos his last are four videos in the yeah, last two years that's all you videos. should direct four videos. videos like that goes out he's one of the best visual artists period at this point i think cole is being a little bit of a hypocrite after he had his moment on stage which we were critical about but at this point i really don't care i'm just looking forward to more j cole music i just find it hypocritical that you wanted to stay away from the beef but now specifically are working with people that See, we would deem Drake's ops. I I don't think that he could be working with several different okay, so in the midst of all this, he did that grippy track, you know, and it's just all like, okay, so again, these are features, and he could have more features. These are just when these people decided to put this stuff out. Before we get into that, this video is sponsored by me. Hey, if you want to dive into new music, I have a catalog. Catalog. Yeah, these are not singles. These are albums. But more recently this year, I did release an album called Team Chaos. So you can listen, stream, download, purchase, all of that in the link in the description. And just, you know, check it out because I want to see if people are actually seeing this and, and going to the the site so anyways you know so it's just all like yeah 
these people are Drake's ops, but they're probably doing that, you know, because of this whole thing and they're doing their thing. I don't like how Mao uses this narrative and I think academics as well is like, uh, he gave y'all y'all's first number one and probably y'all's only number one in different things like that. Like Drake getting on their stuff wasn't mutually beneficial. You know what I mean? Like, it, yes, it is Drake, but then Drake found a new style to Jack, basically, you know, that helped him sell more stuff. So it's just all like, let's, let. I'm tired of hearing that, you know, but what Worry said that it's hypocritical that he said that he wanted to be neutral. No, he said he didn't want to diss Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> That's what this shit was about. At this point, I think J. Cole realized how foul Kendrick said that Cole foul. You know, I think J. Cole realized how foul it was. These artists who are Drake's ops just did a track with J. Cole. Are we not going to act like J. Cole, like for the last several years, was going on crazy runs? So that's what it's just all like. Don't let this beef confuse and erase reality of what there's other stuff that's been going on. There's more in hip hop than just Kendrick and Drake dropping tracks. You know what I mean? Other people are dropping. There's other music going on. And J. Cole doing his dope feature run again. It's not J. Cole that's just all like, okay, go ahead and put these stuff out now. It's not his tracks. He's a feature on it. You know, so it's just interesting. With all of this, and I'm going to leave the full video in the description so y'all can check it out, but do y'all think J. Cole picked the side or you think he's just making music, you know, like. <laughs> but anyways, it's Mr. Composition of MC that writes fiction. I'm back at it with another reaction. Make sure to like, subscribe, notification bells on so you don't miss when I drop a new video on the road to 5K. Make sure to check out the description for my music, books, comics, and more. All right, y'all. Peace.